Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video, WordPress Enthusiasts. Today we are going to unravel the magic of webhooks in WordPress in 2024. Whether you are a blogger, site owner or developer, understanding how to use webhooks in WordPress can streamline your workflows. Stay tuned and let's explore the seamless integration of webhooks with WordPress. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the integration of Webhook with WordPress and how does it work exactly. But first, here I am, I'm logging in into my WordPress dashboard as you can see. But first we need to talk about Webhooks and what is it exactly and does it even make sense when we are saying connecting WordPress with the Webhook. So first of all, this is Webhook and this is an cool the best experience that I found on the internet about it so webhooks is basically uh, or ba are basically one way that apps can send automated messages or information to other apps it is how PayPal is your accounting app when your clients pays you for example or how Twilio wrote phone calls to your number and how WooCommerce can notify you about new orders in Slack. So they are simple way your online accounts can speak to each other and get notified automatically when something new happens. In many cases, you will need to know how to use webhooks if you want to automatically post data from one app to another. So in WordPress itself, when we are trying to talk about uh, integration apps in WordPress, you don't really have to use Webhook since you have already everything made easier for you. So let's say for example I want to go right here, plugins, and add a new plugin. So let me just try to search for Webhook. You will find Webhook plugin that is going to be supporting you to add other applications, but Webhook as it is, it is basically not really an app. So here, as you can see, there is a lot of things when I brought Webhooks. Uh, the first thing that appears is WooCommerce has nothing to do with Webhook. Uh, CF7 to Webhook, I can automate Webhook for Discord. So, as you can see, there is a lot of things going on, but nothing is simply an app that says Webhook. So, why is that? Because simply, uh, as you saw here, it is one way an app can speak to another. The WordPress is an app. If WordCommerce is an app, so when you can go like here and click, for example, let's go here and I'm going to type, let me just, what's happened, okay, so let me just go here and install it now. So now since I clicked on install now and I'm going to add it and activate this plugin, this is basically implementation of webhooks. So in this moment, after I click on activate, I'm actually implementing webhook in this process because WP Forms Lite are basically an, a plugin. It doesn't have anything to do with WordPress. WordPress is a website and it is a dashboard. So when you try to add a plugin, you are actually implementing webhook between them. Here it is an app or like basically an article that WordPress made, so like about webhooks. It is a very, very interesting one. So here, Webhook lets you easily develop post notification. This post notification is a HTTP post that's triggered by some action. This is a feature aimed for developers who want to get data from actions, like when a new comment is submitted that occur on a blog, only admin level users can add or manage webhooks. Note, the webhook settings mentioned on this page do not apply to plugin enabled sites. Various plugins offer similar functionality. So you can find the features by adding WP option general PHP page web equals webhook to end to the end of your site URL. So let's go and do that. Here we go. And I guess yeah from here. Alright, let me just remove this one. And this page should not you are not allowed to access this page since I'm not an admin, but in case you are an admin of like WordPress itself, you will be able to actually open this page. So this is how it's gonna be looking like. So add a webhook. You can add a webhook by clicking 
on the add webhook button and filling out a form so here the action uh, add a new webhook and here simply just uh, make your actions so for example when a new comment is submitted comment author approval something like that and after that click on add new webhook after that you can choose an action and the fields uh, associated with that action to be posted to the url the url will receive an http post request when the selected action fires the post data will contain the selected fields and one additional field called hook that contains the action title so you can either delete and activate or deactivate the webhook using the options in the webhook row so this is how it looks like and this is like a picture you can edit it delete it or deactivate it uh, but since i don't have like the premium i can't really show you that but i'm going to show you like here uh, in this article itself so here okay, is these are some possible actions last fields for example in wordpress itself for example there is comment slash post description runs just after a comment is saved in the database the fields are these ones so you have to fulfill these fields there is also published page runs when the page is published or if it is edited and its status is published uh, there's also published post runs when a post is published or if it is edited and its status is published so there is a lot of variations that work with a uh, webhook these are some of the variations that wordpress accepts these are the id that you have to fulfill in this area like here so you can manage to create a specific webhook for your needs also here what would you lose something like this for uh, li let's for example here hypothetical example say I want to get a text message every time a new comment is submitted to my site first you need to set up a URL that will accept an HTTP post request with the comment data and then does all of the heavy lifting of take of taking the data and shaping it off to your phone in the form of a text message then you add a new hook via the webhook section of the admin area for the comment post action selecting which fields you want and the URL that's your setup area uh, earlier and then that's all there is to it wordpress.com will automatically send an http post with the fields you selected to the url you configured for each comment that is submitted a convey uh, a contrived example to be sure but it gives you an idea of what the process looks like mm -hmm. so here wordpress talked about webhook exactly how does it work within the apps itself so it is a very interesting idea to use it it doesn't it won't harm you at all um, it will actually help you to boost the quality of your site and your service so guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and see you guys in the next tutorial